Hi, I'm Dr. Neha Kriplani. I'm a Master of Physiotherapy in Cardiorespiratory Sciences. In this present scenario, I wanted to reach out to you with the most simplified, detailed version of breathing exercises that will be extremely helpful for the patients of COVID-19 who are either admitted in hospitals or isolated at home. This is the outside and inside of our lungs. In the inside of our lungs, you can see tree-like expansion. This is respiratory tree and alveoli are at the very end of this respiratory tree. These alveoli are very small balloon shaped air sacs. Here at the alveoli level, there is oxygen and carbon dioxide exchange between blood and lungs. In COVID-19, this respiratory tree gets inflamed and oxygen and carbon dioxide exchange at the alveolar level gets affected and the patient gets symptoms like difficulty in breathing, shortness of breath, cough, cough with expectoration, decrease in oxygen or SpO2, tiredness after small routine work, oxygen drop after any small physical activity. But to support the medical treatment, it is very important for the patient to remain positive mentally and do breathing exercises. So while you are in hospital, discharged from the hospital or home quarantined, ventilate your room with proper sunshine and fresh air. Following are very important body positions to increase oxygen to the various parts of your lungs. Prone position or proning is said to help ventilating the lungs effectively in many research studies. Doctors all over the world are advising these positioning techniques. Take a close look at each picture of how that specific body position is achieved with proper use of pillows and hands. Breathe in through your nose, one, two, breathe out through your mouth, one, two, three, four. Breathe in through your nose, one, two, out through your mouth, one, two, three, four. In, one, two, out through your mouth, one, two, three, four. In through your nose, one, two, out through your mouth, one, two, three, four. In through your nose, one, two, out, one, two, three, four. Five more times. In, one, two, out, one, two, three, four. In through nose, one, two, out through mouth, one, two, three, four. In through nose, one, two, out through mouth, one, two, three, four. In, one, two, out, one, two, three, four. In, one, two, out, one, two, three, four. Place one hand over your belly, one hand over your chest and feel the movement for a feedback. Breathe in for two, breathe out for four. Counts. Breathe in one, two, out, one, two, three, four. In, one, two, out, one, two, three, four. In, one, two, out, one, two, three, four. Feel the belly with hands. In one two out one two three four in one two out one two three four This is incentive spirometer a device that measures and increases lung capacity that is it measures how deeply a patient can inhale. It provides visual feedback to both the patient and the respiratory physiotherapist and thus encourages the patient to take slow deep breaths. 
as shown in the figure it has 600 900 and 1200 cc markings one in center spirometer should always be used for the same person only the patient should be in relaxed position sitting or side lying the mouthpiece should be tightly sealed with lips of the patient and spirometer preferably taken to the level of mouth so the patient can watch the spirometer for visual feedback now the patient inhales deeply and the balls go up one two three four five six seven eight nine good ten take rest no matter how many spirometer balls go up ask the person to hold after inspiration for three to five seconds start one two three inhale and hold one two three inhale and hold one two three inhale and hold one two three good inhale and hold one two three take rest and later do it five more times one two three inhale and hold one two three inhale and hold one two three good two more times inhale one two three inhale and hold one two three exhale and try to move the distant paper one two three four five take rest again six seven eight nine one more ten take rest breathe in through nose and hands up breathe out through mouth and hands down breathe in through nose breathe out through mouth two breathe in through nose breathe out through mouth three two more times breathe in through nose hands up breathe out through mouth hands down breathe in through nose breathe out through mouth and take rest doing the same by lifting hands sideways breathe in through nose hands up breathe out through mouth and hands down breathe in through nose breathe out through mouth in and out through mouth breathe in and breathe out As shown in the picture, hold the towel firmly at the chest level. Inhale against the pressure of held towel. Hold for 10 seconds and exhale. Inhale through nose. Hold for 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And exhale. 1. Inhale through nose. Hold. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And exhale. Inhale through nose. Hold. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Exhale. Inhale through nose. Hold. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Exhale through mouth inhale through nose hold 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 exhale through mouth and rest
first step breathe in through your nose relaxed breathe out through your mouth relax breathing in relax breathing out third relax breathing in relax breathing out second step deep breathing place your hands over your chest and take deep breathe in through your nose deep breathe out through your mouth deep breathe in through your nose breathe out through your mouth feel the chest expansion and chest movement breathe in through your nose breathe out through your mouth breathe in and breathe out and rest now make her sound through your mouth and exhale three times one two three now cough one two three if there is any sputum spit it out you must contact your respiratory therapist to know which exercises will help in your condition how to progress with these exercises and when to start or stop with these exercises